I'm David Redden. I'm the vice chairman of Sotheby's. I've been at Sotheby's for a long time, for 41 years. And back um, in the 1990s, when we had the Jacqueline Kelly Nassus sale, I was one of the organizers and sort of then one of the um, auctioneers for the sale. And it was an extraordinary privilege. She was, to so many people, a kind of secular saint. There was a lottery to get the exhibition because there were so many people, thousands of people, that wanted to see the exhibition, which involved a lot of large-scale portraits of Mrs. Anassis, and they touched their lips and then touch her face. They were simply in love with her. The prices sort of escalated higher and higher. One of the great lots she had worn in one of the iconic photographs, John as a small child, is shown clutching at her pearls. Well, they're not pearls, they're, they're, they're faux, and I suppose in any normal way they'd be worth only a few dollars, but they sold for over $100,000. President Kennedy's golf clubs, which we put an estimate of $300 to $500 on, they sold for $800,000. There were extraordinary moments like that when you clearly, the estimates were meaningless because this was going to be the last time you could ever buy anything from that extraordinary collection, that extraordinary person.